Hey there, superheroes. How you doing? Adam from Bourbon Guitars. And you're here with the Cigar Wars Guitar Builder. Very quick little video today for the, uh, for the YouTube channel. Uh, just a reminder, of course, uh, if you get a chance, click on that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you like what you're seeing and tell your friends uh, all about the uh, the YouTube channel as well Really trying to build this the group is kicking really really well Cigar Boss Guitar Builder Facebook group is uh, has passed 4,000 members and it is growing really really strong So uh, if you haven't signed up to that jump over there It's a really amazing group of people over there sharing and, and, and helping each other with builds. It's really cool um, Today I'm talking to you about Piezo Pickups I uh, had a wonderful question on the group regarding uh, whether or not to use um, capacitors with single coil pickups. And it made me think about capacitors for, um, made me think of capacitors for piezo pickups. Um, and one of the complaints about piezo pickups is that they can sound very, very brittle, uh, very, um, Well, very brittle, I suppose. That's the only word you could really kind of use. Um, the piezo pickup is either a rod. I'll show you. Got a couple here. Just sitting around. There we go. All right, so what do we got here? Excuse the mess behind me. This is, it's a working shop. What do you want? <laughs> All right, so that's a disc piezo. Your positive is connected to the little bit of ceramic on the top of the disc and the earth is connected to the disc. Here, you've got everything wrapped up in a rod. Um, I'm more of a fan of disc piezos. I know Shane Spiel and a lot of other guys um, like the rod piezos, and that's all good, that's all cool. Um, I like the discs. I like the tone that I get out of discs, and um, I, I just it's one of those funny things. I just haven't had a lot of success with rod piezos. I think it's me. I don't think it's the rods, I just think it's me. So anyway, so I, I tend to, on all my builds, I tend to prefer using the discs. Um, I think it also creates a bit more, possibly a, a more of a lo-fi kind of tone, which I, I really like. So um, it did make me think when I was putting this um, video together, I was thinking about that 0.022 microfarad capacitors are generally what we use for um, a single coil pickup. And we'll usually match those with a, uh, a 250K um, potentiometer. Uh, usually a B, so the, um, the linear, tends to be the favorite for those. The logarithmic ones or the audio ones, the ones that we use for volume on guitars and things like that. Again, stick with 250, it's usually the way to go. Um, because it's it's less prone to um, focusing on those high notes. If you think about a humbucker, a humbucker traditionally it tends to be it's got a wider um, as a pickup. It's got a wider the two poles, uh, the two coils are sitting like that, and it creates a, a wider space. So inherently, it's usually going to be a thicker sounding sound. Single coil pickups are thinner sounding, um, and piezos I think are in that kind of ballpark, that thinner sounding type of type of thing. So if you were going to use a a, a tone uh, pot potentiometer, I would suggest uh, a two hundred and fifty k uh, with a, a 0 0.022 microfarad uh, capacitor. I, however, don't like using tone controls on. Uh, piezo equipped guitars um, and the reason for that and I'm going to demonstrate that in just a second is the volume control does the same thing does exactly the same the same thing what you want to do when you use a tone control is drop treble to earth you can't increase treble 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 but you can decrease treble so that's what that's what's basically happening when you're using a, um, uh, a potentiometer with volume, you're sending the signal to earth, and with the tone control, you're sending treble. Because of the use of that capacitor, you're sending treble to earth, okay? You're not increasing bass, you're just sending treble to earth, and that's it, okay? So what happens with a, 
a piezo and a volume control is very interesting because a volume control basically at the beginning of its run, when you just go to turn it down very slightly, it acts very slightly as a capacitor. And what that does is the very first thing it does before volume starts to roll off, the very first thing it does is it drops a certain amount of treble to earth. Now, some people don't like doing that. Eric Clapton very famously doesn't like doing that. He's had his guitars fitted with um, a, uh, a, a particular uh, a, a capacitor and a resistor, and it's designed that on his volume control, and that's designed basically to keep the treble. He wants to keep the treble when he turns his volume down on his guitar. Um, it works really, really easily as a treble as a treble control so let me let me show you i've got a basically i've just i've got a simple pig nose here and turn it on all right this is this is uh, a big wolf in production it's just about right at the end of its build uh build stage and the very first thing so you can hear that Now, the volume on this is turned up all the way. That's your volume control there. All right. And the very first, I don't know if you can hear that. There it is. All right. So what I'm doing Hear that? Now I can hear that. I'm not sure if you can hear that on the on the microphone because of the condenser in an iPhone. Let's listen to it again. The volume's all the way up. I'll turn, this is maxed. The pig nose is maxed out. Turn the volume down. All right. There you go, phone control. And, <laughs> and I haven't, um, I haven't got any capacitors on that. I'll just prove it to you. I'll just show you the wiring on the inside of the guitar. Here we go. So just lifting up the top. <gasps> All the secrets involved. Okay, so we got, I don't know if you can see this. It's a little tight in there. I try and minimize the amount of wiring I've got. But it's very clean. The wiring in there is very, very tidy. It's very, very clean. Here we go. Let's see if we can get you a little bit closer. There, okay. All right, so the piezo is underneath the the neck of the guitar. It'll be glued on, so this is all gonna get glued on. Um, and again, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, the reason I put the piezo pickup underneath uh, the timber is I like the fact that I'm not squashing the piezo in between the neck and the body. I don't want to squash it. I actually want it to have a little bit of vibration in it. I want to be able to tap the side of the guitar and hear the sound come through the amplifier. I'm looking for more of a percussive sound from this. So I prefer not to squash it in between the lid. I like turn, I like putting it underneath here. And that's a tip I got from, um, actually I, I think I, I used to see, I think I saw Daddy Mojo doing it before. Um, I'm not sure who, I think it's, I think the last video I saw of them doing it was on the top anyway. So it doesn't matter. It's, it's, I tend to prefer putting it underneath the neck. And I just think, again, that reduces the amount of treble. Um, and also, it just feels airier or something about it. I don't know. That's what I like. Why don't you guys give it a, give it a try? Anyway, so what basically happens is we go from the, uh, the piezo to the volume control. There's no capacitor. There's no capacitor on the, on the output jack. I'll just show you that. There you go. So there's no capacitor on the output jack. All right. The volume control is doing everything. And we're talking about the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little um, turn of the knob to just reduce that, um, to just reduce that treble. And it works. Um, I've got particularly, like, especially with a with a um, a pig nose, uh, which can be a bit, you know, they can be a bit trebly. I quite like using pig noses. So I think they've just got a really groovy lo-fi vibe. But if you have them all whacked out, it's like, it can be quite trebly. So just rolling that volume back, it just takes the top off it before you lose volume, before you drop volume. 
it's just a really neat little trick. So give it a try next time. Piezo pickup, disc pickup, even a rod I think will work quite well into a 250k uh, A um, uh, or logarithmic, I think, um, potentiometer. Straight to your output jack, no capacitor needed, and it, it'll work a treat, I promise you. it's. I do it on all my guitars, and I, I love the way it sounds. Just turn that volume down just a hair, and... It works really well. All right, Adam at Berg Guitars. That's 10 minutes of me yapping about piezos and potentiometers and output jacks and capacitors. And that. All right, have fun. Please subscribe. Please tell your friends about us. Uh, please um, check out the Facebook group as well. And uh, have a great day. Get into your workshop and go and have some fun.